think about what can we do to be a better listener. And we all know that it's hard if you don't already do it well, because you may not know what you're doing wrong in the first place. So I think the first thing that we need to do when we talk about being a better listener is to acknowledge that we have room for improvement. There is an opportunity for us to actually do a better job. And when we do that and we have that self-reflection, then we can go back and start looking at how do we start seeing where we can make improvement. And some of these things are your peers. It could be everything in a contact center uh, for recording calls, listening to calls, whether it's via a person and or some sort of automation and AI. It's being able to talk with your leadership, have mentors, be able to have that moment where you sit there and say, I want to have a better opportunity to be a better listener. That's a huge one because I think when we make the decision to want to be better listeners, we're that much more engaged and it's more about the outcome for others than it is just purely for us as individuals. But some of us won't be that self-aware. So that means leaders, managers, supervisors, um, whomever it is in your business that manages being able to see that skill set, to be able to be improved, to be aware how do I know it's happening? How do I know when you're not being a good listener? How do I know when you're not doing a good job at listening when you're supposed to, right? Taking away things that you should have understood, uh, cues you should have known were there. Answering the right question because you maybe were so busy waiting to answer the one that you thought you heard, you weren't even listening to know what they actually were asking. And so to be part of a good listener is one, obviously your self-awareness will be a great help. But the second thing is being surrounded by people that are able to know when you're not to help you get there. But just being aware isn't enough, right? You have to be able to go back in and practice these things. You have to be able to understand the scenarios in which it's actually time to listen. And some of that listening, right? Isn't just the fact that I ask a question and you gave me an answer and now I'm like, okay, it's time to ask the next question. Part of listening is also knowing that in people's minds, they're thinking sometimes and you have to give a pause and you have to stop for a minute and give someone that extra second or two because that answer may have been just part of an answer and they actually have a lot more to say, but you were so quick to jump in and ask the next thing that they weren't able to actually give you the full answer. So part of listening is also making sure there's an awareness of the cues of when someone really is giving you everything they have to say that's part of that conversation that's important and giving them the opportunity to feel comfortable to do it versus it just being that next thing.